So for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Matthew, and I live in Sydney, Nova Scotia in Canada. So I guess my testimony starts when my parents received the spirit in Victoria, BC, and between the 80s and the 90s, and then I came along and I'd always grown up knowing the things of the Lord. Like I had a little beginner's Bible with all the classic Bible stories that I read, but I didn't really get serious about it. Didn't really get serious about the things of the Lord till it's about 12 or 13. I can remember actively searching and seeking to pray for the Holy Spirit at night. And one night, February 6, 2017, I received the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues. I remember being so happy that night. I basically prayed for the whole night and I just couldn't stop praying for the next few days. I was just so happy. And I got baptized the next night in our bathtub. And yeah, so recently, I think I've been going through a few struggles personally in my walk, like just like the internet and stuff. I used to like watch YouTube and stuff. And that was, I think, taking a toll I don't think I realized it until a certain point. Then I, I just realized that I couldn't stop, I guess. So, yeah, about last December, I realized it was getting to be a problem. Me and my parents both decided that it might be good for me to put it on hold for a month. And since then, I haven't gone back to it. That started to solve some of the problems. And it, it is a miracle that I haven't actually had the desire for it. But it didn't solve everything. Then I went to Young East Camp this year. And just since then, Young East Camp has had a huge impact on me. I, the, the scripture, iron sharpens iron. I forget what scripture that is. But that really, it's really true. Iron really does sharpen iron. And I just felt so good at Young East Camp. I had such a good time and such good fellowship and such good activities. And I definitely think I took something away from it. When I came back, we had a 15 minute prayer session a few days after I got back. And it's the first time in memory that I haven't been bored within like two minutes of starting. I actually could sit through the whole thing. And I was actually excited and focused on the Lord instead of off in La La Land somewhere. <laughs> but, and also I feel also for the first time, like I could actually talk to someone about the Lord if they asked me about it before. I don't think I could honestly give a very good, like witness to someone just because I wasn't sure of like my facts and stuff. I feel a lot more sure of myself now. That's definitely of the Lord that, yeah. And I guess if you want a healing testimony, just recently I was going for a bike ride. And if you, if any of you know what happens when you jam on the front brake really hard, you go right <laughs> over. Yeah. So anyways, I found out and the real miracle of that is that it could have been so much worse that I could have broken a bone or something, could have hit my head. But none of that. I got a couple nasty scrapes from it, but it was healed up pretty quickly. And I made a fool out of myself doing it. My dad says he hasn't seen anything like it in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that was that ended up was a consequence of that. So that's a blessing of the Lord. So I slammed my hand in a car door one time. No lasting impact. So yeah, definitely I have a lot to praise the Lord for.